guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a tag video and I was tagged in this in like March or something last year. So I'm very 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 late to the game on this tag. I was tagged by Rachel Winters and she is amazing so you should definitely check her out. But she tagged me so long ago and she actually messaged me and I kept the screenshot of the video but I never got around to do it and I'm so sorry but here I am. This tag is created by Kelly Gooch and I love her channel. She's so fun and she's so informative and she's so creative with her video ideas so you should definitely check out the ladies down below. They do project pants as well so if you like my channel you will definitely like theirs. Kelly created this tag based around if she could keep one primer what would it be and she said in her video that it should not be a primer that was your favorite but it was a primer for example that you could use every single day let me just start out with the first category and that is primer and i chose my max factor face finity all day primer and i love this one i am almost out i'm at that point where i take my beauty spatula and i scrape out the last remaining of product because i can't pump anymore out so i have definitely used this every single day and i have used this every single time i have worn makeup since october I think so yeah it's almost empty and this is definitely one of my favorite primers as well so this just works so so great for foundation i was really really torn because i don't really have a, a favorite and the one i'm using every single time i do my makeup at the moment is not the one i would choose so the next foundation that i would choose that is really really great on the skin and looks beautiful and has the finish that i prefer if i should not mix anything in it it is the w7 hd foundation 12 hour wear and this has a satin finish and it is a beautiful shade and i believe it is light enough for me some w7 foundations has the uh, tendency to be a little bit more on the, the darker side even though it is a lighter shade unfortunately because w7 makes great foundations then we have concealer and i thought hard about it and then i just realized you use the same one every single day anyway so my maybelline fit me concealer this is my third i love this stuff i have used it every single time i use my makeup since again September or something, maybe even August. I just love this one so much and it is pale enough for me and it is in the shade 15. It's a concealer that I can use with or without correctors because I have really really dark under eye circles and that is, I have always had that. So this is a concealer that can hide them without it being unnatural, you know. So I just really really like this one and again my third tube and I'm almost out so yeah I just love it so for blush I chose my fret boy from the balm this is just an all-time favorite I have it on today it can be very very pigmented it can be very very sheer depends on how much you use obviously but it's just a perfect peachy coal color I recently showed showed this in my living coal shop my stash with Paula I did last week it's just a beautiful blush and I have used this for weeks at the time and I'm not getting tired of it. So this is the one I would choose. For bronzer I had a hard time because I have three uh, bronzers in my collection that I can use every single day without getting tired of it. And it is a perfect match for my face. So I had the bronzer by Benefit, the Hula. And I had an Essence Sun Club bronzer. And... Well, I both have pants on these, but this was a little bit too orange when I swatched it and this was a little bit cool toned and this was in the middle. And this is my W7 Very Vegan Matte Bronzer. The other two are mattes as well, but this is just a beautiful bronzer. It looks so dark. So this is a perfect bronzer for me because it is, again, not too warm, not too cool. It is in the middle and you can build it up to be more of a contour shade without it being to orange because it's not a cool tone bronzer you know just buttery and the formula is just amazing so yeah and this has a mirror too it's just really really great and the layout is just beautiful and this just love it 
and the packaging looks very very sleek I have over 60 highlighters so it was very hard to choose I was almost going to pick my sleek highlighting palette but then again there was four highlighters in that one that palette is very intense so if I wanted a subtle shine on my face I would not be able to get that from that palette so I thought I was going to choose a highlighter that could give me both and this is definitely the one it is a W7 very vegan highlighting powder go figure and this is in the shade Nature's Glow they only make one but it is a golden highlight it's not too dark for my pale pale skin tone it's not too golden and it's just light enough for me personally I don't have it on today but it's kind of the same shade as I am wearing it's just really really amazing and again it has the same print it's just really 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 great and the but it's buttery and the formula is just amazing then we have a lipstick and I thought hard about this because right now I'm panning the NYX soft matte lip creaming can and I love this shade this is perfect for me for every single day but it uh, it can be a little bit drying and it doesn't look pretty if I have dry lips you know I would sometimes want a more moisturizing lipstick and then I thought about this one this is a Rimmel London I don't remember the line of these they have this packaging it's just really really beautiful to be completely honest and that is the shade right there it is called Naughty Nude 700 and this is my perfect mauve nude pinky shade I just love this and this is so moisturizing but it kind of holds a long time on your lips as well so it's just a beautiful lipstick and yeah I wish I had more because these are beautiful so as long as I can I will keep buying the this lipstick I have more than 30 palettes and some of them are more colorful than others and sometimes I want color and sometimes I really want a, a natural goldy eye again I have pink on as well but oh, it was hard to choose because some of the palettes I have I don't like the formula of and some of them is just too colorful to create a an everyday smoky eye because I have an education for an office job and sometimes you just can't wear blue and green and pink to work so I chose my W7 on the rocks naturals on ice palette and I love this palette so much and you can do so much with it it is a very 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 good do for the subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I think this is a good do I have heard so many talk about how the formula is crap and they returned it and stuff like that. I love it. I honestly love it. And again, you have the golden tones, the more orange tones, the browns, you have some blues and greens. And you can create so much with this with this palette. And to be quite honest, the bronzer and highlight goes so nicely with this palette because this doesn't have a a light gold champagne shade but with the highlighter you can get that and the bronzer is light enough for to be in the middle of these two browns right here so I thought this was going to be so nice and if I want a more coral shade pinky pinky peachy shade this is going to be very nice with this palette as well so I thought it was going to be a good choice and um, so yeah it's a neutral with a purple color which is the trend, you know. So I just really, really like this. I did a palette bingo on that, on this one. I will link it down below and in the cards if I remember. And yeah, I love this one. So I would choose this one. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below for more videos like this. And if you don't want to miss out, click on the bell down below as well. And yeah, until my next video, I hope you are doing well. And subscribe to the ladies that I just talked about in this video. And then I hope you're going to take care. Bye.